matter what anybody brought up, my husband used to say, I have hopes. And he would always say to me, I will feel better tomorrow. Never did he go to bed at night saying, I don't feel well, and I'll feel worse tomorrow. I will feel better tomorrow. I have hopes. Confidence. How greatly, in the midst of the insecurities of this world, and the uncertainties thereof, do we need confidence? How many times have you felt inadequate? Feeling that you didn't have the strength, nor the power, nor the force, nor the intelligence to meet the various crises and circumstances of life. There are times when any of us, any of us feel afraid insecure, uncertain, lost and wandering in the darkness and the shadows of our own minds. Every one of us essentially reverts into the shyness, the reticence, and the fears of the eternal child that is within us. But Christianity is the technique of the strong life. Christianity contains formulas and principles which, if anyone will really take it, he can live with certainty, conviction, and confidence in all the circumstances of this life. The great methodology by which this is accomplished is to have a simple, humble, and active faith in God, not as an inscrutable character in philosophy, not as the far-removed creator of the world, but as a friend and a helper who is with you all the time. The greatest truth in this world, in many respects, is this. We are not alone. Whoever develops this confidence in the intimate presence of God, simply and humbly, will have this one great shining word made real. Confidence. What do you have to do? What is your responsibility? What is your challenge? What is your crisis? Take that great old word, confidence, Put it in your consciousness and hold it there, savoring it, meditating on it, holding it, believing in it. Do the best you can. And having done all, stand, as the scriptures say, put it in God's hands, and be ye confident in confidence shall be your strength.